And here comes the multi-time world champion. The following contest is a tag team steel cage match and is for the World Tag Team Championship. Introducing first from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Edge. That cornerstone, one of the forefathers of the tables, ladders, and chairs match. The ultimate opportunist. <laughs> Gentlemen, Hulkamania is about to run wild. There is only one, the immortal. And from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 303 pounds, the immortal Hulk Hogan. So between WCW and WWE, Hogan has had double digit world title reigns. Not to mention he's a two time WWE Hall of Famer and the biggest name in the business in the 80s and 90s. The strongest force in the history of WWE. There has never been another quite like Hulk Hogan and Hulkamania. And Hulkamania is running wild. Hulk Hogan is unstoppable. It is deafening in here. What? After rising from the ashes, Kane continues to live a tortured existence and is hungry for revenge. Pure demonic rage in his eyes. Feeding off the infernal flames of hell. Uh, here comes the awe-inspiring, high-flying Hall of Famer. And from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. From ECW standing to WWE legend, one of the most unique athletes sports entertainment has ever known. From the underground to superstardom, Rob Van Dam is truly the whole damn show.
Matchups like these are why I love tag team wrestling. There's no telling what a competitor is capable of once that cage door is locked. I shudder to think what the individuals are capable of when they're surrounded by 15 feet of steel. Once you are in the cage and the door is locked, the time to talk is over. It's our business. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Is this the right time? Is this the right moment? The sprint at the cage is on. Trying to make their way out of the cage. Making the big climb towards victory. Nasty impact. And he's thrown from the cage down to the mat. Oh, I did not like the look of that impact. Oh, so knee. There's the arm ringer. Followed by the leg drop. some damage already. Feels like it's opportune time to get out of here. No! Precarious position here. He's working toward making his escape. He can almost taste the win in this cage match. Looks like he's having trouble getting that other leg over. And there was some force on that move. He's got it there. It might go without saying, but you really need to use the steel cage to your advantage in a match like this. It's just that simple. It is as simple as this. If you don't use the cage as a weapon, whoever is in there with you surely will. Do you hear that, Corey? Uh -huh. I can hear it and I can feel it. Looking to advance up the cage wall. Looking for a grip to get themselves over the cage in search of some footing to make this huge climb. Trying to escape the cage. And now he's made it to the top of the cage. As he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence is starting to build. The longer he's up there, the more fear starts to seep into the mind. This is not going to end well. Fall from the cage. Yeah, he's gonna have to try something else now. Nice Japanese on drag. Oh, looks like Hogan's getting the Hulkamaniacs involved now. He's returning fire. Yes, execution. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Fortitude being tested with every step. He's nearly there. Just a few more sure-footed steps, and he's victorious. Heck of a view from up there, but he'll enjoy a view from the floor even more. They're so close. Yeah, but I have a feeling the fall is about to be so far. He has a task at hand and prefers to be showboating right now. Ooh. Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. It's going to take a lot of willpower to make it all the way to the top. for him now in this steel cage match. All he has to do is drop down to the floor in his hand. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't. Oh, he's stuck. No. He's ripped from the cage and sent barreling down. A fall like that could end his night. He just has to swing that leg over. And at the very top, he gets a grip on him. He was halfway home. Gaze 
he's landing squarely on his opponent. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Getting ever so close to the very peak of the steel cage. And every inch climb puts you in a more perilous position. Takes incredible guts to make this climb. And the devil's favorite demon turns his twisted eyes to a fearful audience. He's nearly there. Just a few more sure-footed steps, and he's victorious. Oh, it's not safe being up there. Off the steel, all the way up. Somebody stop it now! Oh, down he goes. Oh, what a nasty landing. At the worst possible time, too. This is the moment for him. This is how winners are made. Gotta wonder if the stamina is there to make it all the way. And now he has finally been able to reach the top of the cage. And would you look at that? He could be well on his way to escaping the steel cage. And now the climb down could be... He doesn't want to spend too much time up there. Oh, it looks like Hogan's getting the Hulkamaniacs involved now. This demonic look from... And we have new tag team champions. Here are your winners. And the new world tag team champions, Edge and Hulk. and the toughness on display here tonight. Takes a lot of guts to even set foot in the cage, but to win is even more impressive. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it, and I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon.